Man, you ever got into a wreck and your car be all messed up and the person you got into a wreck with, their car ain't nothing wrong with it? That's what happened to me. down in my GPS looked up and the car stopped in front of me and I slammed on my brakes and smashed it and it was a truck that had a trailer hitch on the back and it just my bumper just wrapped around it man so I pulled I couldn't even drive because the radiator was busted it was leaking I couldn't drive nothing so I'm looking for my insurance by the time I look up the person done took off I guess they ain't have no insurance, no papers, no license. I don't know what was wrong with them, but they smashed out. They took off. So I'm stuck right there. I had to call a tow truck. Shout out to my boy Baby Sam. Came pick me up. Still made it to the video shoot. Shot the video. My boy Baby Sam took me back to the crib. I towed the truck to the shop. And I ain't even had full coverage insurance on that thing. I only had liability, man. So I got to come out of pocket to fix it. See, during this 30-day daily vlog challenge, y'all get to see the ups and downs of a player's life. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all good. It ain't every day. Ain't. But hey, man, I ain't get hurt. I was by myself. The kids wasn't in the car. Luckily, I was, you know what I'm saying? Nobody got hurt. So, thankful that nobody got hurt. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? The, the truck can be fixed. As soon as it get fixed, I'm going to trade that boy in. That's a down payment on something else. So, I ain't tripping. We always drive the bourbon because it's got a third row seat and all the kids fit in. See, with Houston's car seat, we don't all fit in the Range Rover. So that's why I don't really be driving the Range. But it's all good, man. It's all good. God is good. It's Sunday morning. I'm finna go to church. I need to feel some Holy Spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? If the man of the house, if the head of the house is not right with God, the whole household will be in disarray. So you the head of the house make sure you got a good relationship with god man because that's what's gonna keep your house peaceful but hey man y'all stay off your phones when y'all driving man learn from my mistakes don't be on your phone don't be texting while you're driving don't be looking at you down at your gps while you're driving because it could have been somebody walking across the street and i could have smashed them you know what i'm saying and i really would have been in trouble but luckily the person i hit was not trying to hear because they just took off but yeah, man, that's what happened, man. Got into a wreck yesterday on the way to the video shoot. So I always talk about how addicted to coffee I am. So I decided to show y'all what I've been drinking lately. Um, Lucky had actually got me these caramel flavored coffee cake cups. Um, so these have been my go-to right now. And they are delicious. And I always blend with this French vanilla um, creamer from Coffee Mate. I've tried other brands, but I just feel like it's not as thick and rich in flavor like this one. <clears throat> and here we are, my coffee for the morning. Oh my god, you guys, look at my nails. So I'm deciding that I'm just going to let them breathe for a while because it's just too much going on. Look at this. Oh, don't judge me. Ew. But anyways, I just wanted to vlog this morning real quick because I, I don't think I'm going to be in this vlog much today simply because i just don't feel too good last night i fell asleep and i just felt like crap i woke up this morning and i felt like crap and i took a hot shower and that helped so i hope that i do start feeling better i know that lucky went to the store early in the morning to go get the ingredients that he needs to make me some caldo de pollo i am really looking forward to that lucky's not here right now he actually left to church with the girls he took the girls the boys are still asleep um so yeah just got out of church how was church leah good what'd you learn um i forgot you forgot 
glad we came. Need that in my life, man. What it say? It say on this paper right here, a man who refuses to admit his mistakes can never be successful. Proverbs 28, 13. A man who refuses to admit his mistakes can never be successful. Let me tell y'all something. See, I wasn't even gonna tell y'all about my wreck. I wasn't even gonna tell y'all about my car accident. I was just gonna tuck that under the rug and keep on vlogging for y'all and act like that never happened. But that wouldn't be genuine and real. You know what I'm saying? So I had to share my experience with y'all and admit my wrongdoing by looking down at my phone while I was driving and ran into somebody. So y'all don't make that same mistake. You know what I'm saying? And I had to keep it real with y'all and let y'all know what's really, really going on in my life. And we really bless you, Leah. And how we really, really do have ups and downs and it ain't perfect out here. We ain't perfect, we don't got a perfect family. We go through things just like the rest of y'all. Ain't that right, Gigi? Mm -hmm. So I had to bring the girls to church because the boys were asleep and Kelly wasn't feeling well. And Houston be crying during church anyway. You can't sit through a whole church service. So she always ends up having to walk out with him anyway. But hey, man, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Y'all need to take care of your wife and your children and treat them as your most prized possession. Because no amount of money or jewelry or cars and clothes, designer shoes, none of that will equal the joy you get from raising a family. And the joy you get when you come home and your little ones run up to you and they be happy to see you. Like Houston could be asleep in his bed, but when I come home and start talking, he gonna jump up and look for me. He gonna look around, he gonna know my voice, and he gonna put his hands up. And that right there will make me more, that right there will make you so happy. Nothing else can amount to that happiness that your children will give you. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't waste your time chasing cheap thrills. Cause all that other stuff in the world, and the happiness is short-lived. And you're talking to someone who's seen it all and experienced every thrill that this planet can offer. I used to think it was all, all about cars and clothes and women and jewelry and all that's cool when you're young, but that happiness is very short-lived and it's not real. What's real is your wife and your children. And that's what it's all about, seeing them smile. And I done did enough balling in my lifetime, now I kick back and get a, a kick out of seeing them ball. You know what I'm saying? I get a kick out of taking them to nice hotels and letting them go on the water slide and stuff like that, man. That's what I get a kick out of now. I done had my fun. Now I get it. My happiness comes from seeing them happy. Catching up on Game of Thrones. Yeah. I'm barely on episode 4. Do y'all watch Game of Thrones? Type in the comments and let me know. Yeah, episode 4, season 8. I know that it's like, what, today? Today's episode 7 comes out? I don't know. But I know I'm a little behind, so I'm trying to catch up. I have three favorite shows that come on on Sunday at the same time. So it's Keeping Up with the Kardashians, it's Game of Thrones, and it's 90 Day Fiance. So um, I really like to rotate them but I always catch up on them um because I record them I pre-record them but making it long story short and trying to get back on subject because that was just like irrelevant um Kingston is still asleep and Houston is right here playing that's why I'm on the on the floor because he's literally just crawling around playing with his toys so right now I'm just waiting on Lucky and the girls to get back because um, he actually got up early in the morning to run to the grocery store and get everything that he needs to make me some caldo de pollo. Fun fact, you guys, Lucky is the one that taught me how to make caldo de pollo. Um, which is crazy, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, I know my mom's made it before while I was, when I was growing up, but I had never made it myself. And it wasn't until, like, I got with him and he was, like, making it one time and, like, I was helping him and then one time he was sick, so then I had to make it for him. Um, which mine is better even though he taught me I've mastered it and I feel like mine's better but yeah 
he taught me how to make caldo de pollo. So I'm really looking forward to them to get back because I want my caldo de pollo. And I know he's going to make it with love um, because he knows that I don't feel good. But I'm just going to keep on watching this Game of Thrones. And I hope y'all stay tuned. Keep on watching. We'll be back. Houston love these right here. I just got back home. I'm feeding my little Houston some fruit and veggie melts. He love them. Strawberry, banana, blueberries. All in one. Gigi. Yeah. Sit right here and feed Houston while I make this chicken soup. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Well, that's what I'm saying. I gotta... Now let me show you how it's done. First things first. Now y'all can take this recipe and run with it. I'm giving this my gift to you. First thing you're gonna do, get your extra virgin olive oil. Put a little dab. A little dab will do you. Next thing you're gonna do, cut your garlic. Get you some garlic. Get you some fresh organic garlic. So now I got the garlic in there with the olive oil. Now I'm gonna cut this onion. I love this little knife. I got this knife from Kelly's mom. Sharp little dagger. I'm gonna carry this in my shoe. I'm gonna throw the onion in there with the garlic. My fire's on medium high. Now, make sure you get chicken broth and don't just try to put water in there because if you do, your soup ain't gonna have too much flavor. You gotta get some free range chicken broth. So you're gonna throw your two boxes in there. Now, it's real important you do everything in a certain order. The garlic and onion and oil go first. Then this, then the chicken. You can either use chicken breast or chicken thighs. I prefer chicken thighs in the soup. Some people say you gotta rinse the chicken off in the water, but you really don't because water is not gonna rinse off salmonella or anything that you got on that chicken. And you're just gonna spray it all over your sink if you do. When you boil it, the germs and everything gonna come out of there. Boil it with the top off, remember that. We're gonna use a little bit of this here. Pinto bean seasoning. What? And ground comino. Black pepper, pink salt, Himalaya, it's that player from the Himalaya salt right here. Himalaya pink salt, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. So the potatoes take longer. So we're gonna cook them first. The potatoes and the corn. Where's the corn? I thought I got a corn. Oh yeah. Got the, got the fresh corn right here. So we're gonna cut the potatoes. When we go to the grocery store and we see all the whole selection of fruits that we got and vegetables we got, we don't realize how blessed we are, man. Because back in the day, people had to grow their vegetables and grow their fruit. And they only grew like certain fruits. You had to only, you couldn't get every single selection of fruit that we got nowadays. What a time to be alive. Next thing. Chayote. Y'all mess with that chayote? Am I saying that right? Chayote. Type in the comments, let me know. We're gonna cut that up. It's sort of like squash, if you did not know. Well, what's wrong with that carrot? I don't know why they come like this, because you really don't need all this. <laughs> well... Okay, so we're going to... Use three carrots and say three. Cause I did, I bought a big thing of, I don't know if y'all ever cooked this. Try tip. It's like, it's sort of like a brisket, but it's nice. I'm gonna cook it in the oven with some carrots and potatoes. And if I barbecue it, I'm gonna barbecue it and some chicken for tomorrow for Memorial Day. Shout out to all the soldiers, everybody enlisted in the Army, Navy, uh, Marine Corps, and then all the families that have lost loved ones on the battlefield. We salute y'all. Happy Memorial Day to y'all.
I'm getting lightheaded. We're almost done, baby girl. We're almost done. This is your medicine right here, baby. This is just gonna heal you. We starting to boil over there, so I gotta hurry it up. Okay, the carrots is in. Oops. Celery. We're gonna cut our celery up, little pieces. Cherry tomatoes. I like the cherry tomatoes because they dissolve. You know what I mean? You know what I say? The cabbage. Now we're gonna cut this cabbage. Last but not least, cilantro. Save this for tomorrow's pico de gallo. Do I got any serrano peppers? Well, if you had a jalapeno, serrano pepper, something spicy to throw in there, now would be the time. We're gonna squeeze the lemon. Cause you gotta have some lemon. Take the seeds out. Cause you don't wanna, that's the way to ruin a meal is if you bite a lemon seed. You ever bit a lemon seed and it just mess your whole mouth up? So after we squeeze the lemon, we're gonna throw some salt. Cause we haven't put salt on the vegetables. We only put salt on the chicken and the juice. That's your last of the salt. Now, we're gonna clean up our mess, put the top on there and turn the fire down and let it cook for about two hours. And we're back. Before I forget, I want to give a shout out to Elite Reviews and HRFL for donating yesterday and yesterday's live chat. I was tied up at the video shoot so I couldn't participate in yesterday's live chat. But I just want to say appreciate y'all, Elite Reviews and HRFL for always donating in the live chat. Hey man, don't be a hater, go on, sprinkle a little bit of love in the live chat. Click the little dollar sign on the bottom, know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 and Elite Reviews, we got your 5X Luciano TV shirt, email luckybookings at gmail.com, and we're going to get it going for you, man. Yeah, I'm feeling nice and good today. I'm hungry. Stop it. Stop on that soup. Stop all that nonsense now. Oh, are you trying to pants me? He's trying to pull down my pants. He's trying to pull down my pants. You better stop. You can eat it after about an hour, hour and a half, but I like to let it cook for two hours. And then, it's gonna be nice and ready. I was gonna serve Kelly, but she putting on her makeup right now, so she ain't finna eat right now. But man, I can't wait, I'm hungry. I gotta get into it, man. Excuse the noise, Kelly's watching Crazy Rich Asians right now. Have y'all seen that movie? That's what it's called, right? Crazy Rich Asians. All right. Oh, it's hot. It's good, but it's too hot right now. I gotta let it cool down. We're going to a little pool party right now, man. So, not really. We're going to my cousin's house, man. He got a big pool in the backyard. We're gonna take the kids swimming, man. Enjoy our holiday weekend. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all. All right, so if y'all never been here, I'm gonna tell y'all what to get right now. Old school carnitas.